Alright guys, PPD here, bringing you guys up to speed, all things EG post TI6. Uh, we just got back a couple days ago, I've been just kind of doing my own thing, haven't really been posting any videos or anything like that, don't worry. Uh, I'm going to do a ton of draft analysis here in the next couple days, and I'll be posting those up on my YouTube channel as soon as I get them done. Uh, but, I just wanted to give you, talk about TI a little bit, give you guys an update about what we're doing, and what's going to happen in the next couple weeks. So... Um, as you guys know, we got third place at TI6. Before that, we had boot camps in our Alameda team house for like almost two weeks. Uh, every single day, we you know we went out there from like 11 a.m. to almost 7 or 8 p.m. each and every day, trying to prepare our best for this tournament. We went to Star Ladder and didn't do super well, but we learned a lot of things. And we um, went back and just kept boot camping. And then we showed up at TI, and you know things went relatively well. Uh, we did um, really, really well in the group stage. We ended up getting second place in our group. I think that we can attribute a lot of our success, however, to Navi. We kind of adapted their lane winning play style that we learned oh so well as they destroyed us at the previous tournament at Starlighter. So really going to that tournament was a really, really good idea for us. They kind of taught us um, the style and kind of are the reason that I played Chen and Enchantress and I played both Enchantress and Wisp at TI. So those kind of like lane winning strategies we really adopted from Navi and that really, really worked well for us during the group stage. Moving on into the main stage of the tournament, we ended up playing against Newbie and then Ehome and we beat both of them 2-0. Uh, we're relatively confident against Chinese teams. I've always done very, very well, especially in big matches against Chinese teams and these two were no exceptions. We made some changes in our drafts as we saw like Wings doing very, very well in this tournament. They weren't really playing the same lane winning play style that we were playing so we decided to maybe adopt a couple of their things and um you know it did work out for us we did very very well against ehome and newbie if you guys missed that ehome game one i think it was like people are saying it's like one of the greatest games of all time but it was uh it was pretty crazy um you know coming back from mega creeps i, I don't think i've ever done that before in my entire life so that's uh that was a really really fun game and it was um really crazy and after you like win a game like that, it's all like it's impossible for Ehome to win the second game. Like you're so demoralized. But um, anyways, a crazy game. Check it out if you did if you missed it. But uh, moving on into Wings, we ended up losing 0-2. They just were the better team that day. I think they were the better team every day at TI. Um, they were the best team there. I they were my pick to win if I couldn't pick myself. So um, really cool to see those guys execute this time as they kind of um, choked a bit at Manila at the previous major. Um, going to like the DC game, mm, we I think we maybe adapted our play style a little too much. We decided to you know get away from the whole lane winning thing and focus more about having a hero or committing to like a style of being like push or team fight or defending towers or uh, something got messed up and we kind of um, I think outdrafted ourselves in a way. But yeah, that sucks. You know, it sucks to lose always, but um, it's okay. I think going into that tournament, if you told us we were going to get third place, I think that most of us would be relatively content with that. Um, losing is always disappointing. Um, I think that we all thought that we were the better team and we should have at least been in the finals against Wings. So losing to DC was a bit of a letdown for us. But um, I think most of us are still relatively content. You know, Third place at TI is nothing to be ashamed of. And I think that we did very, very well. Um, if you think about the, the kind of year that we had, coming into this big tournament. Uh, everything post Shanghai was pretty messy and um, I'm, I'm happy, I'm, I'm content with how this year went. So moving on into the next year, uh, we're right now we're just kind of taking a vacation. Everyone's just kind of on pause. Um, we're just figuring out what, we, what our plans are for the next year. I think I'm probably gonna go camping, maybe take a vacation to the beach. Everyone's just kind of, um, you know, taking some time off and figuring out what's important to them and what you know they can do um, for the upcoming year. So, um, what? Where can you see EG? Fear and I are both headed to PAX Prime in almost two weeks. Uh, we're going to be at the AMD booth. We're going to be like just meeting fans and hanging out. So, if you guys are in the Seattle area or are headed to PAX Prime, make sure you check out the AMD booth and you'll see us there. Also, on September 10th, we're going to be doing a fan meet in San Jose. So, if you're you know somewhat in the Bay Area or near San Jose or you're going to be in town that weekend, uh, make sure you check that out as you'll definitely be able to come hang out with us and talk to us and ask us whatever you want to ask us about TI and anything like that. So 
Uh, but yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you so much for cheering for us at TI. There was an overwhelming support for EG fans bleeding blue, and that's that's always really, really cool to see. Always very overwhelming and um, foreign for someone that you know just plays video games for a living. So thank you guys um, once again so, so much, and I will see you soon. I'll be posting draft analysis videos and maybe a post-TI something as well. So, yep, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.